hello 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 my love bugs once again it is your girl let me love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you harden out your heart for i am just the messenger and we are all here to witness and learn thank you guys for your likes, subscribe shares views and memberships everything is greatly appreciated y'all know i wanted to use these cards i'm gonna use these cards gonna use these cards and I gotta use some coins so give me a second let me go get my coins and I'll be right back all right I think this is since I gotta pull my coins out this is very important of course this is about money what I'm getting before I look at the cards it's like there's a high priestess high priest I'm getting high priestess there's a woman that is upset with you that you're succeeding in your career this is a person that uses magic purposely uses like somebody was paying this person to attack you and the shit ain't going how they wanted it to go look at this shit pray them to pay them pray them pray for them maybe this person likes to tell you that they pray for you or maybe this person feels like she's praying against you maybe you pray a lot that's what's keeping you safe yeah but this person was trying to use magic against you to stop you from a bright new beginning this person's upset because they watching you they're watching you succeed they're watching you move forward they're watching a collective people a collective or people accept you and they see you in this high vibrational energy and actual divine feminine energy and this person wants justice by taking you the fuck out okay justice that one sword in justice's hand and the four swords on this car in secret this person tried to betray you them hit hit them in the mouth with the five of swords because they upset about what you're receiving maybe the attention the money that you're going to receive from the attention and this person was trying to call judgment on you maybe tell people and you know tell people bad things and talk shit about you or these people could have been working with some family members that were talking shit about you uh talking bad about you and this person decided to jump on the gravy train is what i'm hearing and now they invested too much money into trying to start chaos for you because they're uh having to deal with this chaos while you celebrate like this person is pocket watching you this person only cares about money and they don't like the fact that you're succeeding or you're taking off as quick as you are but in all actuality i'm getting you paved the way you been doing this shit this ain't nothing new to you whatever you're doing is something that you can do that you're like gifted in and this person just wants control i'm getting like a very business aspect in the background with that and then with the queen of pentacles it was like a, a lot of earth and you get in a love relationship so i'm also getting she's like a feminist and maybe that's what she wanted to hit you where it hurts she don't want you getting in this divine union with somebody and being able to celebrate yeah she was trying to cause uh mishaps for that because you're probably gonna get some money okay so you're probably going to be a power couple with somebody and this woman feels like she wanted to covet your energy i'm getting for some of y'all this crazy bitch was even trying to use your energy and cloak in it and find out whoever your divine masculine is i don't think you know for some of y'all this is the person close to you maybe this person tried to get close to you multiple times they could have tried to travel towards you or contact you or some sort of way but they don't have a way to do so this person probably wanted to harass you probably wanted to ask you for some business and then give you a bad review shit like that all right so let's see what's going on yeah at some point this person wanted to cause you this is crazy yeah she just don't want you being she doesn't want you having a collective with people she don't want you being seen or heard she feels like it's her duty to cause chaos for you and possibly because she was paid to do so by some people or because she's in the same field as you but what's killing me is this woman had money this woman had the fame but she wanted all of it she wanted yours okay this woman could have also been working with some family members of yours so this could be like some sort of famous uh torah teacher of the torah and she financially struggling like a motherfucker because she invested too much into trying to cause chaos for you and turn your life upside down. Whatever this person sent for you went back to them tenfold. And this person is now upset because they're on the bad end of the stick. This person, um, I'm, I'm hearing, cannot do any magic. They don't have any creativity. They don't have anything, anything original about them. And that's what upset them about you. See how this one penny was left in my hand? They were trying to hide you. They were trying to hide you and and for them trying to hide you for them trying to change your fate and money theirs is changed or i'm hearing someone's life is in the balance back to this card someone's life is in the balance because you're having abundance this woman literally feels like she's going to cope because you celebrating let's see what's up with this crazy lady i'm here she is crazy She's upset. She missed an opportunity. It's like every time she come back to check on what it is that you're doing, boom. So she might have been trying to do some work to stop you from doing whatever it is that you're doing. She wanted to hold you back 
okay she didn't want you doing whatever it is that you're doing she tried to stop you multiple times and every time she tried to stop you your ass show right the fuck back up it makes her madder and madder this is giving me that energy from a read one time where i heard um that this lady was like i heard like that she was um okay i'm hearing again siphoning your energy but this woman was trying to get your page like shadow banned with a couple other people trying to shame you like we talked about um in the very beginning when i was doing my reads we talked about a lot of dark practitioners and dark tarot readers and people online trying to lead you astray on purpose and all that bullshit and it came up in one of those readings that somebody was trying to target you no matter if you're not in the spiritual community if you are you know whatever they could possibly not even be in the spiritual community but they want to be and they looking at you like damn i can't figure out how to read no tarot cards and this bitch just started yesterday and she already got seven subscribers fuck her you know what i'm saying stuff like that all right this person could feel like i've been having all my homegirls come and get their hair done forever and this bitch get to do cardi b hair why she get to do that oh i didn't you know been doing nails or i didn't want to do no nails till i seen this bitch doing nails we started doing nails at the same time why she got all this clientele and i don't like whoever this is they're jealous of you and they decided to use some sort of magic if they're not already well versed in it okay you got a lot of people who do magic behind the scenes and want to hide that shit this could possibly be one of them people but i'm very much getting she is a teacher of it she is a spiritualist she is a person that teaches people how to do dark magic on others because she is a jealous nasty spirit and one thing she can't fucking stand is for a woman to be with a man i do not know what's wrong with her but that's one thing she can't fucking stand so she loves to do love spell reversal she loves to i'm just gonna tell you the truth if you piss her off or you make her mad she's gonna try to make sure your man beat your ass when you get her off. crazy this is a crazy ass woman but she thought she was gonna be able to pull some of that crazy shit on your end nope she got news back that that shit ain't working she been spying on you finding out that shit ain't working that you more stable than ever common sense will tell her that every time she do some magic on you and you get better shows that uh you're transmuting that energy you defeated this bitch multiple times and she just don't want to let it go yeah she's very jealous that you're an actual divine feminine you could possibly be proving her wrong in some sort of way if she was talking shit about you or if she was meant to talk shit about you or meant to bind you to something because i'm getting for some of y'all this is a practitioner that was higher than she beefing with you because she can't stop you which is making her reputation look bad which is making you look better and now the people that was working with her then caught wind or what the hell going on and now they want to work with you because you knocking her shit out the water okay that's what i'm hearing all right <clears throat> same thing if y'all doing something else in the community and she doing hell you doing hell she doing nails you doing nails and everybody was all on the hype train with everything that this bitch put her hand into and then when she put her hand into that she failed and everybody want to come to you whatever all right they wanted to put some chaos in she wanted to put some chaos in between your success she got a message from somebody else to do so that you would not heal and upgrade but you did anyway that's why she jealous okay ten of swords if you're gonna add this victory over here to this reason why she is stress worried and in anxiety because she thought she's gonna be able to take your energy take your gifts feed off of it and become divine become the image of a divine feminine when it's not that okay she could have also been talking about your image maybe you could have took a picture and you was looking real good and she was like that ain't how no divine feminine dress she's supposed to wear this and she's supposed to wear that and i'm hearing she's saying robes this emphasis on robes maybe you're supposed to be wearing robes or maybe this woman always has a robe on or some weird shit like that but all i know is she come up out that motherfucker she trying to talk about you and say you don't dress like no divine feminine but she ain't giving up no she she giving up cootie like she ain't no divine feminine i tell you that that thing been aired out front and back and for her to be mad that men are with women and she tried to work against it it either means that she didn't get a man that she wanted or uh, she feel like that well shit that's it she didn't get a man that she wanted and she feel like nobody should and i'm gonna tell you right now the man that she wanted was devilish as hell and she feel like she couldn't get her devil so she couldn't rule maybe it was a dark practitioner that she wanted to talk to god damn it that's it it's a dark practitioner that she wanted to deal with that now wants to deal with you or she's the dark practitioner and it's a mask okay I, i'm saying i said it was a dark practitioner at first because these people could have been working together or she wants to work with this person to try to attack you so she went to him trying to get him to look at you and he didn't flip his whole life upside down or he flipped his decision upside down okay you have some people who are not biased they just do the work that they're told to do this woman was manipulating it and this masculine tries to balance it out okay he does good things and he does bad things and there's nothing wrong with that okay this is a practitioner that is balanced and he has high rank this woman was just trying to be uh, a political 
political whore is what I'm hearing. So a spiritual political whore. She has a lot of things to say about how you practice your spirituality or whatever it is that you do because she feels like you're doing the darkest of the darkest magic and she wants to learn it so that she can do it and shine. But why the fuck would you think if you're playing in the dark, something just going to pop out and shine? Why the fuck do you think if you added dark to dark? So I, I don't, this this is her mindset. Never mind. I'm not even going to stress my stuff out. But anyway, um, this masculine was supposed to work with her to cause some chaos for you. Or at least that's what she thought. And now this person wants to work with you and work on your side because he see you the truth. Um, and he also sees that you're divinely protected. Something that this woman, like, disregarded. Something that this woman, I guess she was so jealous of it, she didn't believe it. Maybe this was a woman that was supposed to work together with you. Or maybe this is a woman that wanted to work together with you, but she could not fight her jealous urges. She was just like, I'm not finna fake with this bitch. I don't like nothing about this bitch. She thinks she all that. But your light was too bright. That's all. Her demons was irritated as fuck. She wanted to come to you in her physical body, but her spirits kept snatching that ass back like, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. All our secrets are gonna come out if you come over there to her about how she be selling Cootie Mama more than she sells uh, tarot readings. Good Lord. Or Cootie Mama more than she sells spiritual items. I'm telling you, this woman be teaching people how to do dark ass love spells and shit, bro. Okay, she thought she was gonna get a passing a new passion a new beginning with you. This woman thought she was gonna sleep with you in your dreams. No cap. She was cloaking herself in a masculine energy that you found attractive or find attractive. She tried to cloak herself, okay? And then I'm also getting for other people, if this was a practitioner, this masculine practitioner, she was trying to work together with you against this person is now attracted to you and he wants to work with you because he sees you the truth. You are the truth. Okay, for some of y'all, this could be a masculine. Yeah, like I said, he's in the balance. He only does dark work. If someone, okay, boom, he uses it for war. Dark magic is only supposed to be used for war. If someone is oppressing you, that is what it's used for. Just because you know how to do it don't mean you finna use it because you can fuck on who you want to fuck on for a grand, a band. You know what I'm saying? Like, get your shit together. That is not what it's used for. It's not used because you mad you can't beat this person up or you mad because her number's going up quicker than yours. That's not what it's used for. It's used for when someone is killing your family members one by one, where people are taking like sexual abuse every single day. Like, these are the things that it's supposed to be used for to get them people up off you. And this masculine knows that if you approach him, he does good work to bless you, but if you need somebody handled, he handles them, and that was her deal. She heard about him, and she thought, okay, well, boom, I'm gonna lie on this feminine, make it seem like I'm innocent and she attacking me and he just gonna do what I say because she's used to old wicked ass people who don't ask questions who don't really uh conversate with the Holy Spirit they just attack people and then deal with the consequences later that's why her ass is hanging in the balance right now because she's slow what I'm talking about heavily burdened for being jealous about you because she can't stand to see you moving forward she can't stand to see your numbers going up and she can't stand that this person this masculine wants to work together with you damn and this might be destined for this person to want to come and work together with you. Or this person is like really, really passionate about you. Okay, he could possibly want to get in them jeans, honey. He could possibly be feeling some type of way because, okay, so she might have been trying to pretend to be a divine feminine to get this man's attention. And she, uh, her, her fucking jaw dropped, her whole face fucking dropped when a real divine, when a real divine feminine stepped in the room. She couldn't stop your shine. She couldn't block your shine. That's why she couldn't even fake enough to be your fucking friend. It was just too bright. It was just too noticeable. So she was trying to blind this masculine so he wouldn't see. So she thought it was a good idea to move in haste and go try to throw some cootie, cootie, cootie mama at this masculine to try to get her way. And she heavily burdened because he was like, fuck no. <laughs> I'm finna take an offer over to her because see you got this oh my goodness I'm hearing witch coochie all right so he said she got witch cootie and you got divine feminine cootie he can tell so he's going to take his offer over there to her now if this is not about cootie and this is about a business situation she was trying to throw some cootie to get her away but this masculine would rather come and see what you talk about and get to know you as a woman before he decides to do anything with cootie he wants to do business okay so again this masculine is attractive to you either way it goes but he's not going to overstep his boundaries because he respects a divine feminine now if you give him some he's going to be happy as hell okay and if you don't and you just work with him, he's still going to be happy as hell. Y'all going to be able to thrive and make some money, all right? Now, I'm also getting there is a high priestess working against you because her husband want to talk to you, this dark practitioner, and he been watching you because she pointed you out, and he decided to change his life and get in a high vibration, and now he about to get rid of her, grab the bag, and come to have a transformation with you. He wants to work with you. He wants to give you an offer in love, okay? He want to sleep with you. He want to give you a ring. He want to get you pregnant, and then he want to leave you both it broke and disgusted like he does every feminine in his past 
Oh, okay. So he won't leave you broke, busted, and disgusted because he want to come over there because you're a better option. You're a better fit. You're a better look. But ultimately, he's still narcissistic. He still is chauvinist. He's a chauvinist. He thinks he's smarter. Maybe that's why this woman feels so insecure because she's like, this is all I have. This is this man. That's all I know how to do is sell cootie. And if he want to go over to her, then what the fuck am I going to do? So she tried to come up with some sort of plan by going to this other masculine. Oh, shit. Okay, that's what it is. This woman that's working against you, trying to stop you from speaking, trying to do this and trying to do that. She mad because some who she is in a relationship with want to come to her and she couldn't sell no cootie to this other person um this other magician to try to get him to work against you so she can keep her man and put you down in a career and take your career and this man that's the practitioner want to come over there and love on you which got this woman disappointed because she like damn now nah, i pointed this bitch out to somebody else who want to be with her because not only do the practitioner want to be with you but the damn man that she with he ready to leave her and come over there with you so this woman feels like she needs to cause some sort of illusion about this masculine for you so that you don't accept his love offer or his business offer. But you don't, I'm, I'm, I promise you don't want this man. You know this man's a liar and an illusionist. You know he's a chauvinist. You know he's narcissistic. Like you know this man ain't shit because you possibly was in a relationship with him in the past. So this could be an ex of this woman. Damn, you possibly wasn't even in a relationship with him. You was in a situation. This man had a lot of options. This woman was an option. She thought she was number one because she was like, he been pillow talking about you since they started going together. And this person um thought that she was better than you. He done made her think that she was better. And now he done put her down because he ready to leave her. Now she upset because this other practitioner over here trying to have justice with you. He, he's determined to come over here and have justice with you. He said, oh, you done pointed, you done pointed the perfect feminine out for me. No, I don't want none of that, that Petri disc coochie. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You ain't even got the money to pay me. You was literally finna try to pay me and coochie, bro, gone. <laughs> He's a mess. Give me something else on this practitioner. I don't think he no good neither, though. This ain't your divine. You know, hey, if I don't get divine energy off of it, I ain't, I ain't finna, I ain't finna boost your head up for it, honey. I ain't finna boost your head up for it. He knows that you're too clever for him to try to take out anyway. Or he's being blessed in some sort of way. Or he's being like, you know, the spirits is happy that he took the chance to see who you were before he just attacked you like everybody else did. He sees he can't attack you and take you out. And he sees that this person's just jealous and wants to sabotage you and take you out so that she can move on in your energy. So he is possibly working against her for trying to come against you. Okay. Okay, so for some of y'all, you know, this could be an upstanding masculine. Well, I'm, I'm going to say upstanding because he, he just switched up the game on her. Um, or he didn't switch it up on her. She feels like he switched it up on her, but he was never that type of dude to begin with. You know, she never really got to know nobody. She just threw coochie and got her way. And um, this masculine walked away from her and was doing research. It was like he was told not to bother you. You were you were meant to move forward, okay? Y'all, listen, I stay in the South, baby. People put speakers on the front of their car, so if y'all hear some stuff in the background, excuse it, okay? That's my jam, too. Anyways, so, <laughs> this person, uh knows that you're meant to move forward like he did the right divination okay he learned from the holy spirit that you're supposed to move forward but he also sees that he could possibly have an opportunity with you because you're a good business person even if he feeling you a little bit deeper or he sees like maybe you know if i could you know be cool with her she real cool we can see where a relationship go you know he kind of skipped he, he kind of skipped ahead because you know he kind of thinking with his um his other head down there Mm -hmm. but this practitioner basically want to come in and see what you're talking about but he is working against this woman and protecting you i guess if he's not physically working against her it's more so he's working against her because he don't want to work with her you know what i'm saying so she's trying to make it seem like yeah he doesn't want to work with me no. like she probably hit this man up multiple times she probably didn't try different magic okay he didn't probably looked into the situation and seen that she'd been trying to attack you and failed at everything you continue to stand your ground i think that's what it was i think he didn't necessarily look to see if he should attack you and what the whole spirit has to say about it i think he looked into why is this woman so obsessed with this other girl is she telling me the truth and the holy spirit was like heck no bro she is not telling you the truth this lady been trying to stop her from moving forward by celebrating with her and taking her i mean celebrating with those who have celebrated with her trying to chase her energy or take her energy because she don't want to be friends with her no more and she out here getting a bag so this is somebody who knows that this woman used to be a friend of yours or she um if she if you didn't if you didn't know her she used to be a fan of yours whatever it is that you're doing she loved to do it and she decided well she loved that you did it and she decided to try to do it and the shit didn't work for her okay she wanted to betray you in the in the process so she didn't have to necessarily be a friend like hey girl she could have been a friend like online 
friend, okay? Watching your success and trying to copy that shit so that she can get success in a different community or in your community over you because the bitch was popular, okay? So this is a feminine who could have been popular, who felt like, yeah, let me go ahead and take what everybody else doing. She a weak-ass bitch. No, don't, don't nobody know her like that. So if I take her energy or I do whatever I want to do with it, then shit, she just going to be assed out and I'm going to be the one, you know, celebrating. And in the end, this one is the one that's asked out because you don't even want to talk to her, let her around you in your energy or she not even your friend online. She can't follow you online, whatever. And you're manifesting what it is that you want, okay? This woman is secretly, mentally disturbed in secret. So to everybody else, she's telling everybody, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I'm good. I'm this, I'm that. But in the background, this hoe is at home screaming, sliding down the wall, kicking her feet, throwing pillows, um, punching pillows. Like she doing all kind of shit. This woman is having a fit. Um, because she's spiritually blocked all the time she tried to do whatever she's spiritually blocked it's like this other practitioner blocked her for acting stupid <laughs> blocked her for acting stupid she she ignored when God said don't do it because that's why she didn't have no money left that's why she couldn't sell no cootie to get no money and she was financially juggling and she spent the last little bit of her coin she had on trying to do some magic it didn't work and then she was like well let me sell my cootie and that didn't work now she mad she brought more attention to you more people want to work with you and this bitch is like damn she just gonna have all the money in the world and i ain't gonna have nothing money is not a thing that you're focused on but this is what this woman's focused on and she's losing her shit because she feels like she's not gonna have enough money but what's crazy is she had enough money but she wanted more money than you and that's where she fucked up at so anyways you have your guard up to these type of energies or this other practitioner literally uh, put his guard up to her or literally put a guard around you trying to help you out watching you low-key watching your back for you until he figure out a way to come and approach you because he want to work with you wow this did this ah did this practitioner i'm thinking this practitioner already knew you in passing though it was like what's up what's up and y'all were going about your day hey how you doing hi how you doing boom y'all going about your day this is a person that this this feminine was going to use against you that could have been close to you and around you for some of y'all like you don't really know this man but this man had he tempted him <laughs> okay for some of y'all this is the person who always wanted to talk to you and she was going to use them against you and now you know she been put on her ass because he been working on her and god been working on her and you you know been moving up the ladder which makes her even madder and he watching her go insane and go crazy he could have possibly been sleeping with her at some point too and then he stopped sleeping with her because he was like girl something ain't right with you i don't know but this is it this is all y'all um for the most part i think that's all what you want me to do hugs kid She feels like she's haunted. She don't know why she did what she did. She Because she's losing her mind, y'all. It's not fun to lose your mind at all. That's that's purgatory. That's permanent struggles. That's dealing with demons. That's dealing with all kind of shit. She lost her damn mind, I tell you that. And she's blocked spiritually. Can't sell cootie. Like, she has no way to pay for nothing. She got attention from bringing up an old friendship of y'all's or telling people y'all used to be friends or telling people, yeah, I was doing that before she did and now she doing it and she taking off with it. Blah, 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 blah. That type of shit, okay? She was there to destroy you or there to destroy any um, situations for you, okay? She hates that people can see that she's jealous of you. She tried to get somebody maybe to set you up with a trap or maybe she's trying to tell you that this... It's a trap. Okay, maybe this man that she's upset with that wants to come towards you has an STD. And she's upset. I, I don't know. Because if both of them got an STD, maybe it's a sexually transmitted demon, incubus spirit. A succubus spirit. Yeah, that's why her man want to come towards you because he got an incubus spirit. He can't help it. He want to come back and spin the block um, because he's addicted to your energy. And she was addicted to it too because she was getting it through him, being with him. You feel me? She didn't want to the wrong person. She wants her wealth for yourself, okay? This masculine feel like he want to drop out his hoes for you and not this practitioner. This masculine that she's scared going to leave her. Um, she put He put love spells on you. So that might be another reason why he's sticking up for you because he knows his feminine and her man doing magic on you. And he feel like you just need to be left out of it because he, he trying to work with you. 
All right, somebody said they're confused about why this practitioner don't answer the phone for their ass no more and why he cut him off because she feel like her coochie could get her anything else. Why I couldn't get her that made her insecure. Okay, she tried to set you up to hurt her so that she can hurt you. So this woman could have tried to probably try to approach you. Probably, like I say, try to bully you in your comments if you don't know her. Um, try to bully you in your comments or send somebody else for you. All right, they wanted to even hurt your child. Jeez. All right, now, you know, if you have a child that wants to hurt your child, if this is, you don't have a child, this is your business, they want to hurt your business. They feel like they fucked up the plan. They can't come in and apologize to this masculine because he now knows what they are. They just a lady of the night. They was only hunking to get their way. He said that she talks so much shit and body shamed you, she should be ashamed of herself because you fine as fuck. All right, the other masculine said, you sitting around here still talking about this girl. I'm not finna talk about her. She fine as fuck. She did what she had to do. She leveled up. And look at your ass still here crying over somebody else. So he ghosted her and she mad about that. She feel like ain't nobody gonna want to deal with her. She gonna be left out in the cold. She can't stay a coochie no more. Her lies ain't working no more. So she gotta take your ass down. Jeez. All right, y'all. This is it. This is all. Look at this. Still out here trying to sell cootie to get her way. Uh, this is it. This is all, y'all. <laughs> I hope you got what you needed. I'm closing it out. Meet me in the next one.